on this episode. Little Moni can't breathe, and Alex is in a desperate race to find out why. It's got to be like a big bit of bone that's stuck there. We've got to get that out quickly. At the emergency hospital on the Gold Coast, an elderly little fox terrier has been rushed in with some mysterious symptoms. Hey Dee. Hey sweetheart. This is little Moni. Moni's not hey, been herself the last couple of hours. Okay. So she's just been very lethargic, had a couple of vomits, um, okay. just behaving not herself. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. She looks quiet. She's, she's a bit quiet. She's a bit of an older girl. She's a bit of a senior citizen, yeah. She's okay. gorgeous, isn't she? Hey sweetheart. Worried owners Ian and Susan say their little girl's definitely not herself. Last night, Moni started being a bit sick and we, we sort of didn't know what was wrong with her and she was sort of gagging and carrying on a bit and spewing. I'm gonna have a feel of her tummy and see if she's thought. Yeah, I think she's quite tense in there, actually. She hadn't been herself all day. She'd just been a bit lethargic and so we thought we'd better get her investigated a little bit more. If anything, she's quite dark and in, in her gums, like she might be dehydrated. Okay. What have you been up to, Moni? Not feeling the best, are you? Just got to figure out what's wrong, what's going on with her. Suddenly, Moni's condition deteriorates. <coughs> oh, sweetheart. You got something stuck. <coughs> all right, all right. Something's really bothering her there. If she's got something stuck in her throat, it could be putting pressure on her airways, affecting the way that she's breathing. Anything stuck in the esophagus is also extremely painful. It can actually cause the tissue to die. It can be life-threatening. What is going on with you? OK, I'm going to get her some pain relief, Jane. Jane, will you keep an eye on her yep. while I go talk to her family? I'm really worried about that gagging. The gagging. If okay. she looks like her colour's going a bit purple, anything yep. like that, just get her on some oxygen. Okay. Um, but if that pain relief helps, then we'll just let her settle down. Okay. Owners Ian and Susan are anxious for any news. Hey, guys. Hi. How are you? Now, tell me about what has been worrying you with her. Well, she was sort of gagging and being sick last night. Okay, so she didn't want to eat this morning? I gave her a piece of chicken at lunchtime, oh, but she just walked away from it. She loves her food normally, yeah, yeah. so she wouldn't turn chicken down usually? No. 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 All right, I'm going to go see if we can get to the bottom of what's going on with her, okay. and then I'll let you know. All okay. right. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay, thanks good very much. All right, take good care of her. Yeah, okay, okay thank you. Well. Oh, she's very important. Great little dog. I'm hoping they're going to fix her. <laughs> hey. Oh, you're right here. This is Moni. Hey, Moni. I'm really worried about her. She's been coughing and gagging. Wow. And she was really in a lot of distress before and she looked uncomfortable. She's better after pain relief, but I'm worried she's got something stuck. What are your thoughts? Well, I'm thinking we do an x-ray. Yeah. Yep. Gerardo has joined Alex to try to work yep. out Moni's mysterious symptoms. Oh, he's a good girl. Good girl, Moni. OK, ready. Take care. Something puzzling is showing up on Moni's x-ray. Why don't we stick some dye down there? Yeah. So this dye, despite the fact that it looks clear, and when we take an x-ray, it actually shows up as really bright white. Good girl. Wow. Whoa, that is huge. There is definitely something there. How did that get down there? That, that's got to be like a big bit of bone that's stuck there. The dye has highlighted this monster piece of bone here. She was obviously coughing trying to bring it up, but there's no way she would ever get that piece of bone up. That's not going to move by itself. Yeah, we've got to get that out quickly. We're going to anaesthetise Moni now. Once she's asleep, we can get the camera down and we can see what's exactly down in her esophagus. Right, I'll yeah. inflate it then. Yeah. Oh, I would inflate it just a little bit. Oh, that's, going, that's really irritating her throat. All right, sweetheart. Oh, sweet. Oh, deep. Good sleep oh, now. Oh, oh, oh. That's it. OK, yeah, she's asleep now. That's good. What we're going to do is put the endoscope down Moni's esophagus and we're going to have a look and see what's down there. And hopefully we can put some grabs down and pull it out. 
I'm just lubricating the end of the scope so it goes down smoothly. Now she's only a tiny dog, she's only four kilos, so there's not a lot of room down there to work with. Okay, here we go, into the esophagus. Uh, in the esophagus now. Okay, keep on going. Oh. Oh. There it is. There it is. Oh, look at that. Oh that... my God. Okay. This looks like a piece of bone, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like cartilage and connective tissue. Yeah. It's taken up the whole of the esophagus, so... I wonder why it's stuck. It's huge. That's going to be challenging. My biggest concern is if the bone that's stuck down there has sharp edges, we're not going to be able to remove it. The claw? Yeah. What we're going to do is pass the claw down into the esophagus and then slowly pull it out. Slow being the important word there. Even putting this claw down is going to cause some trauma, but we have no choice. We have to get it out. I'm just going really slowly. I, yeah, I just don't want to push the bone further down. There's just no room. They're using a special claw instrument to try to grab onto the bone without causing any damage to Moni's esophagus. Okay. Okay. Almost got it. Yep. Okay, try closing down now. Close down. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got it. Yep. Looks like you got a fairly good bite there. Good job. Pretty good, Chris. Feels, yeah. yeah. Watch that esophageal wall that that's not coming with us. Yep. I'm coming back really slowly. Okay, okay. Here it comes. Oh, is it coming? Is it yep. coming? Yep. Wow. Good work. Oh, I can smell it. That reeks. Wow. That is a big bone for a little tiny dog. Good work. I did not think we were going to be able to get that out, but... Oh, that's good. Good, good news. We've just got to go back down and see what damage is down there now. Yeah. Or well, we know that bone may have been stuck there for 12 hours, 24 hours, so to make sure there's no ulcerations or no necrosis of the esophagus. OK. So... Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's ulcerated. That would be so painful. Yeah. The ulceration is due to having a large object, the bone, stuck in her throat for a long time. It's no wonder the little dog has been gagging and struggling to breathe. Okay. So we're going to wake Moni up. She should be on medication to deal with the ulceration. The most important thing is that she can eat, so we need to keep her comfortable and protect her throat as it heals. Moni will be monitored for a few hours and then hopefully be well enough to go home with her relieved owners. This is a really good result. It could have been a lot worse for Moni. She must have been in so much pain and she's really come through this procedure very well. Our friends at Budget Direct provide pet insurance that can help you with the cost of treatments like these. Hey, a little fighter boy. This may avoid you having to make a heartbreaking decision about the care your best friend needs. Pet insurance solved with Budget Direct. Two weeks later, little fox terrier Moni has fully recovered after getting a large bone stuck in his throat. From now on, it's definitely chicken without bones on Moni's menu.